Hi, it's Lori getting ready for summer. All the flowers are blooming, even on my head. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching me eat and uh, shop and open all those mystery bags. I really appreciate it. You coming back and um, all the wonderful comments I'm getting and the suggestions and the, um, the, uh, you know, when I'm asking a question, I'm actually getting people responding to me, which is nice. Um, so, it's nice. I'm going to be eating again. I bought some fresh stuff. I went to the store, and I did buy some uh, cookies from the, the bakery section. And then I found these in the cookie section. Some famous Amos cookies. Uh, bags of different uh, new flavors that I have not seen. And I have the new Dr. Pepper Berry. I had to wait for to find a single because I will not buy a case anymore since the um, since the uh, Mountain Dew fiasco of the raspberry lemonade did not like it ended up with a whole case so not gonna do that anymore even the flaming hot one I actually did buy one at work to drink because it wasn't it wasn't terrible <laughs> it wasn't too bad so I'm gonna eat this stuff so let's I'm gonna start with the lemon these are, I got these at Winco, and lemon tea cakes. Got these like what? What? How many days ago? Three days ago. So I thought, oh shoot, I got to eat these. Can't save these forever because these are gonna go bad. Um, so let me. Okay, it's a, it's a really nice single serving size, almost like a little mini cupcake. It's kind of hard. Some of them were broken, so I tried to find some that weren't broken. To try now I do want to take these off because they're shaded and I can't see really good so I'll keep this on kind of looks like a shower cap doesn't it <laughs> okay let's see kind of lemony let me see what it looks like inside okay there's no filling I thought there might be filling in it looks like just a little cake with some frosting on it Let's try it. Wondering where the lemon flavor is coming from. It's frosting. Yep. It's kind of a thick dense crumb on the cake on the inside not really really moist it probably had to hold up to this being dunked in it but the lemon's coming from this and it's not really really strong i would have preferred like a lemon cake because all this frosting gets too sweet so I think the lemon cake would have given it better lemon flavor without being too sweet. If I don't eat the frosting, I don't get the lemon. So, yeah. And I don't think these went bad just in a few days. So, that doesn't affect, I don't think that affected the cake. So it seems a little dry. And the date on this was the 18th, and today's the um, 11th when I'm filming this. So it's still like a week, a week um, out from being expired. It's okay. Wouldn't be the first thing I grab. Let's try another one. Loft House Watermelon Artificially Flavored Mini Frosted Sugar Cookies. You know when you go to Walmart and you see those cookies that are frosted? I never wanted to get those. But every time somebody brings them to work and I have one, they seem to be pretty good. But I still never get them. It's just, I don't know, I don't know if it's going to be a hard cookie or a soft cookie. 
if it's gonna be a soft frosting a thick and nasty frosting i just never know so i don't really want to buy a whole box of them but these are little and they look like little watermelons so i thought i'll i'll get them isn't that cute so supposedly watermelon frosting yes it's soft and sugar cookie it's a little oh it looks like it might be chewy okay let me taste the frosting frosting tastes like watermelon really ripe watermelon Let's see the cake oh I think these are gonna be good nice chewy green cookie that doesn't taste like anything this is like a one pop it in your mouth. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> These are good. The cookie kind of takes away from the too sweetness of the watermelon frosting, but not a lot. I mean... A kid, kid would probably eat half this. I probably would have eaten half of this when I was younger because these are good and they taste like watermelon. But right now, no, I couldn't eat more than three <laughs> at one sitting with something to drink. With a cup of coffee, maybe I could drink three. It's going to be too sweet. Yeah, the, co the um, cookie offsets the sweetness from the watermelon, but the watermelon has, I mean, the red has really good watermelon flavor. Wherever, whatever they decided to do to get the flavor was really good. Okay. These were fairly expensive. These were like four bucks. Four bucks-ish. And they're like good till January 2023. So... There's probably plenty of preservatives in this. These are um, Philippine. These are cookies made with Philippine coconut. And white chocolate chip. Now, I was under the impression they were chocolate chips. They were just made chocolate chip cookies made with Philippine coconut and white chocolate chips. But I'm thinking it's a coconut cookie. So I'm not too sure what's what's going to happen with this. White, okay, white chocolate chip cookies offer you a premium twist with sweet coconut. Philippine coconut. Okay, so they are white chocolate chip cookies. White, yeah. And then these are regular chocolate chip cookies with Belgian chocolate. So let me go with the coconut first. Mmm, good coconut flavor. Yes, they are bite size. Whoops. <laughs> there's, there's, oh, I lost my cookies. <laughs> they didn't land on the floor. <laughs> okay, I'll get a couple more. <laughs> okay, I got them. I'll keep these over here if you don't mind. <laughs> so, okay, they, they, they're the consistency of a famous Amos cookie. Chocolate chip cookie, you know how they're hard, you know, and when you bite them and stuff. So they're sort of like that. Well, let's see. Mmm. Hard. This would make a good cereal. You know how dunking the cookies in the milk, it soaks up the milk? This is a milk soak wrapper, but it's too small. Mmm, this is good. It tastes like a coconut. Now, I like oatmeal cookies. And I liked always liked the iced oatmeal, and I would dunk them, and they would, you know, be chewy. That was one of my go-tos when I was younger. I, I really liked the oatmeal cookies. I get them when my son was little, I get the oatmeal. Oh, I bought him finger cookies, you know, the like the um, Keebler stripes with the hole in the middle. Those are finger cookies because you can hold them on your finger and eat them. That's, that's what I would tell him. They're finger cookies. Um... So yeah, this is this is pretty good. I'm gonna save that because I have two more over there I have to eat. 
it, it does taste like coconut and it is hard. Let me, let me see. I'm not sure if this is a white chocolate chip or a peanut. It looks like a peanut. No, it's a white chocolate chip. It's, I'm not getting a lot of white chocolate flavor. But yeah, it's definitely eatable. Edible. Okay, I'm going to try these on my hand. These are kind of... Uh, washed out looking cookies compared to the other ones i think this is what his stuff usually looks like it's kind of white they're not dark with um this supposedly has the belgian chocolate in it Okay, is Belgian chocolate translated to dark cooking, dark baking chocolate because it's kind of bitter? Maybe that's what it's meaning in Belgian chocolate. Because it's a little bitter chocolate, like a dark chocolate chip. I do like the oatmeal better than this one. It is nice and crumbly and soft. I mean, it's a crunchy cookie, but it's not hard. I mean, you can bite into it and it dissolves, you know, kind of powdery. But yeah, those two definitely will be eating those. Might not be eating the lemon ones. I might eat the other stuff. I'll probably take the other ones to work and share them because, um, yeah, that's just too much sugar. I don't want to eat that much sugar. So now let me try my Dr. Pepper. I am a pepper. He's a pepper. She's a pepper. You're a pepper, right? <laughs> Who remembers that? I'm a pepper. He's a pepper. She wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm showing my age again. Um, yeah, I like, I, I like the cherry. I like the doc, Diet Dr. Pepper cherry and I like the, the cream soda zero. Um, the one I actually have right now, I bought, they had a sale. I've got the, the zero cream soda when I want the caffeine. I bought two of those and then a couple decaf. So let's try this. Because I remember having the Starlight and it just tasted like cherry, cherry Coke. Oh, this is a little tight. I don't like things on my head. Get a little, give me, I don't need a headache. I'm going to take this off as soon as we're done. A little tight. Okay, it says dark berry. So which dark berry do we think it is? Same as the other one. It was a berry. It tastes like a berry. I wouldn't be able to tell you which berry it is. So, I mean, it just adds a little fruitiness to it. It could be a cherry. It could be cherry Dr. Pepper. I haven't had a cherry Dr. Pepper for a while. If any of you do drink cherry Dr. Pepper and you've tried this, let me know if it's the same. It could be very similar. So, not cherry vanilla, I guess. Maybe, is, do they have regular cherry or is it only cherry vanilla? I don't know. Okay. Well, here was the tasting. Let me put these back on. Bid, bid my farewells. And thank you for coming to watch. Click that bell so you'll see when stuff goes up. Pretty well every day something goes up. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I like it. I'm, I'm having fun. I hope you're having fun. And um, I am, I have to tell you, the people that, that are the content creators that I watch, I have like over 300 channels I watch. I don't do a lot of commenting because I watch it on my TV. I will just sit through my watch later list and, and on my TV and I can't comment on my TV. So I don't, I don't do it on my phone. If I really, really feel strongly about something i will log on to the computer and um open up my history and, and comment on the video if i have something i feel that needs to be said otherwise i just watch on my tv so if you don't see me 
interacting with other channels that would be why because i watch on my tv i just let it go my watch later list just goes and goes so everybody that i watch i watch their videos all the way through all the time regular speed because they're on my watch later list and there's a lot of them i still have like eight or nine hundred on there that i haven't seen some of them are like from years ago that i wanted to see but they're at the bottom of the list so it takes a while to get down there but that's that's why you don't see me participate in a lot of the channels um i do try to get back to you guys sometimes when i go to a channel to ask a question i just don't get a response from the person and it's kind of disheartening it's discouraging when you go to somebody's page and ask a question about something and they just don't get back to you either their channel's too big they don't go to their comments and look at them or they don't have the time to answer your questions and I can't do lives because of my hours. Nobody, I'm usually sleeping and I'm working when everybody's doing their lives. So I'll go back. And so there's, at that point, there's no reason for me to ask a question because it's over and the person's not probably going to see it. Um, I will get a, uh, somebody will see my question and maybe heart it, but I very rarely get responses because I watch big channels and I just don't think they have the time to go through and look at all the comments so it's, it is kind of discouraging when you go to somebody and, and, and want to know something or ask for some help on something and you just don't get a response so I really like to answer um, the questions when you guys ask them I don't like to do it on the contest videos because I don't want to mess up any of the you know the, 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 the random comment picker I don't want to mess any of that stuff up so I try not to don't ask me a question in the the um, video for the um you know the, the giveaway video ask me somewhere else in one of my other videos there's an option we can go through and pick up questions so if somebody's not ask, answering your questions it's because they're not taking the time to go through and look at questions that haven't been responded to so just remember that and uh, once i found that out i'm like wow people just don't have time they don't have time for their subscribers maybe that's why they lose subscribers they just don't take the time to get back with them and interact with them and that's what's important you know it's it's no fun sitting here talking to myself if nobody ever talks back to me so that's why I like you guys are coming and commenting and I don't need 10,000 subscribers I like the people that I have right now and if, if more people come and, and, and like what I'm doing that's great but I really am enjoying the people that I'm, I'm communicating with and um, I'm having a good time with you so thanks for coming. Thanks for asking me questions. Thanks for the comments. And I will get back to you as much as I can. So hit that bell for another one that goes up tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.